until you get a hard set. And then go ape shit crazy and do 20 no matter what. Well, hello, Flex Magazine online bodybuilding enthusiasts, muscle med sports fans, and my bodybuilding family at large. It's me, Kai L. Green, a.k.a. Mr. Getting It Done. I'm here in Fresno, California, and I am excited to be here. We, uh, we're finishing up a weekend of, uh, I guess, guest posing and... Um, just really being very well received by the freshman people of California. This is the home of the legend Flex Wheeler, Phil Herndon, um, Gadjo Miku, is really great bodybuilders that have come out of here. And uh, this is my first time, surprisingly, uh, ever being here. Um, definitely working in this capacity. So I'm excited. I got a chance to meet Ed Corney again. Um, who's you know, very much an icon in the sport. And, uh, so, um, we got through with some training today. Um, and I really have to apologize because I know a lot of times you see this kind of footage and you know, there's this grand expectation to you know, get some secrets. You know, what are the secrets of the champions? And um, if nothing else, I would like for you to walk away with at least this one thing, and that is, that there's a lot of work that goes into trying to see your dream realized and from the surface it may not be easily understand it may not be easily understood what it is that is being done but trust that the work is being done and I gotta give a special shout out to those athletes that do the traveling thing as, as, as some of the guys call it the business of bodybuilding and make it look easy you know, the Jay Cutlers of the world, the Phil Heath's of the world. Uh, make no mistake about it, these guys travel very, very regularly. And uh, there's an art to being able to do that and still be able to train and stay on top of your, your, your needs. Um, we're in a gym today, and uh, I am really just getting the blood moving a little bit and taking advantage of um, what is being a very fruitful off season I guess um, gotta give a shout out to George Farah he's been working with me with my diet and uh, watching me with um, how we approach this part of the uh, uh, the off season and um, you know uh, I'm trying to keep my weight down still in the off season um, the days of ballooning up to 300 pounds or better, just, uh, <laughs> we ain't doing that these days. <laughs> so, um, getting a chance to enjoy being in a little better shape um, while doing the guest posings and stuff, I guess, um, it will move around a lot better and feel a lot more comfortable in my own skin. Um, so today's, um, today's training really is an opportunity just to I guess, see so if you can get a chance to move the blood around a little bit and uh, um, take advantage of being able to be in, you know, pretty good condition for my off-season. My off-season is going really, really, really well. Otherwise, when I'm not traveling, um, I try to be very methodical about um, my day-to-day -day training um, and stay on the program that George and I have in place. Um, my nutrition um, for the most part this year is you know the same as it was uh, for the last two years this is uh, my third year working with George and uh, you know 
you know, it's really interesting how, you know, your journey towards seeing your dream realized is a continuing educational process, you know, and even as a professional bodybuilder, you know, I'm still learning things every day about my craft, and um, with that in mind, I guess it's, it's exciting every day, you know, to um, be able to do what I do, and I'm very, very thankful um, just to have that opportunity. Um, so yeah, my, my off season right now is going really, really well. Um, not as heavy as I've been in the past, and uh, but you know, make no mistake about it. You know, the scale will, <laughs> scale will betray me sometimes. But uh, as long as George says my condition is where we need to be, or where he expects me to be at this time out, I'm, I'm comfortable and confident with that. Um, Muscle Men's has been pretty busy, and. Uh, we're very excited to be able to do the work that we're doing with the international campaign going forward. Uh, shout out to Gerard Dente and the Muscle Meds family. Um, uh, if you haven't looked at the Amino Decany uh, No Bull, please take a look at it. Um, a lot of my off-season condition. Um, I'm gonna go out on them and just you know just thank them. I don't want to. Almost don't want to let the cat out the bag so much um, because somebody out there using this stuff could also be my competitors <laughs> but uh, I'm very thankful to Muscle Bands for producing a really good quality product and I'm fortunate and thankful to be the face of it and to have it in my arsenal as I get ready um, so to the, the fans of the sport and the enthusiasts of, of, of this thing that are looking for an edge you know um, make sure you check out the Amino Decanate as far as my um my reading of inspirational material, I, you know, I just got to say this, you know, I'm, I'm traveling and I meet a lot of people that are just really, really amazing um, fans of the sport and, uh, you know, they'll come and just say some of the most, you know, incredibly moving things. You know, a lot of times people will see you in the throes of your quest and see you in the process of you know, seeing your dream come to fruition as you work every day. And, um, you know, sometimes they can see that and think that there's something that you're giving them um, that helps them, you know, move mountains in their own life, lives. And, you know, sometimes they, you know, they give you the credit for it. But, you know, I just want to put this out there that anybody that's ever taken the time to think, hey, man, you know, Kai, man, thank you for... That motivation, I have to say, and I want to say this in publicly, that it's not, I didn't give you motivation, you know, in, in the throes of, you know, trying to see my dream realized and working towards that, I'm not afraid to work for it, and as I am working for it, um, the people that are there, um, in, with the ability to, to view this material that you're seeing, um, if it resonates well with you, it's because there's something inside of you that resonates well with it. If you're identifying something that I think is just larger than us both, and somewhere in that, you recognize whether consciously or unconsciously your ability to achieve, you know, and that is the common ground that we have. That's what we have in common. Um, but it's not me giving you motivation, I think that it is, motivation is something that is from within, and sometimes we see things on the outside, in the outside world that helps to refocus our thinking, or that helps us to fix our thoughts on something that, you know, is important to us on some level, it just, you know, probably wasn't in the forefront of our thoughts, um, so we have a stimulus that outside and it jogs your memory it causes you to rethink it causes you to recognize or take notice of some things that are already inside of you you know and you recognize this and you say hey that is me you know i identify with that i resonate something in me resonates well with that and you know that power that thing in you is you you know so um, I can't take credit and say, hey, yeah, but, you know, um, I'm great, and, you know, you know, because it's, it's not me, 
and it's you know I'm in my journey and you are in your journey so if you're somebody that's out there and recognize that you're in the process of seeing your journey seeing your dream your 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 purpose realized you know um, as a result of your thinking and your ability to work towards the manifestation of your goals thoughts and dreams you know then I ID with you you know um, and together you know the plane that we call common ground is the idea of limitless possibilities um, so if you're somebody out there that hears what I'm saying right now and, and can understand you know um, um, and meet with me on that common ground and you know I applaud you and I say brother in the struggle you know um, I call you a brother I call you a sister and I encourage you to continue to go after your dream you know um, and if you're somebody out there that don't have a dream yet you haven't really thought about what it is that makes you tick what's very important to you, you know, what is your purpose what is your why then I encourage you to find it um, everybody needs purpose everybody needs to have a goal bunch of goals you know they are the thing that makes life worth living um, so uh, to the people that do recognize that I just want to encourage you and uh, to everybody else that's still in the process of finding what that is I encourage you to do that and until next time you know let's just keep each other keep each other keep it positive and keep encouraging each other all right going forward this is kind